Sound good. He but. says he has PM combos, and that's really funny. Oh, yeah. <coughs> but um, Pompey B... Pompey came out of nowhere from P came out of nowhere from PM said I'm playing ultimate now and it immediately shows us that hey Palu is a strong carry yeah like even though we have Saber we have Sabric and Mars Sabric and Mars who have like very strong Palus he came into he came into SFL out the gate with Palu and yeah. he was doing well immediately yeah his Palutena is super super clean it's a very different style of Palu because it's very it's 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 one that's that focuses a lot around more a lot around movement pressure. Yeah, like he's very good at like short hopping like just outside of your space to bait options. To like sort of like make it look like he's open to get hit. Definitely. And it's just like once once he puts you in a tech chase, it becomes a situation where it's like you gotta you gotta mix it up. Hard. You gotta mix it up. <laughs> you gotta mix it up because he will He'll take that one hit. He'll push it far. Yeah. He actually just took a. He actually took like a set off of Mudeis earlier on Friday, and it was oh like, yeah. and it was hands. Oh yeah. It was hands. Like that was not. That was not a clean. Three point one, baby. Ooh. You know what I mean? Three point one. You that know. That can hurt. Don't worry. The fair that kills ten percent later. Okay, I'll die at forty instead of thirty. You know what I mean? Down air, forward air, off stage. You know. Oh. You, you know. Interesting. Oh, okay. So. So. This Ooh. this Samus, I saw him playing earlier, and he was actually doing pretty well, like going pretty even against uh, Tremendo, dude. Okay. So I'm, I want to see how I want to see how this translates yeah. to the bracket. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie though, this matchup, never seen it. Never seen it. Maybe not even in Smash Four. Like, I have like basically no reference. I can imagine full fully charged shot will just like beat out any projectile. Maybe even like half no. charge shot will just beat out like all of Link's no. projectiles. No, charge shot gets beat out by major by a majority of projectiles. Really? I get PK fire and it just dis disappears. Really? Yeah. I don't know full a uh, full charge shot though. That may yeah. I feel like story. Link's projectiles in particular. Oh, uh, like Link no, bomb dude. will probably beat out charge shot. That's a very that good is bet. that is possible. Did you see FedEx back air bomb and it went nowhere? What? I didn't. I did not see that. He literally went like he back aired it. Like you saw like the the animation for it hitting the object, and it just didn't move. I thought it moved for like everything. Like you <laughs> could breathe on it, and it didn't fly. You know what I mean? All right, getting the dash attack. Down the punish with the down air. Yeah. Wow, let's go, Samus. Yeah, we got combos. You know? <laughs> 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 we got untackable ground spike. Oh, that's definitely oh, that's, that's that's no that's double that. jump. Yeah. Good uh, reversal there. From uh, Wampy. Looked like he was in a pretty bad spot after that forward air. But then made it back on the stage and uh, got that bomb game. Forward air should kill, yeah. Yep. Forward air is strong in this game. It's not the greatest for comboing, but like it's a good combo ender, but not a great combo tool. Wampy actually pulling away a little bit. Yes, he is. It's kind of like. It's kind of like I said before, he gets that first hit, he takes it very far, and he's just really good at applying this pressure. He double Nair and gets the f tilt on the landing. Yeah, that was a pivot f tilt. Link has like a terrible run speed, so it looks like he's just walking and f tilted. Oh, good recovery, just barely dripping Ooh, to the side. Wampy punishing that misgrab with a boomerang. If Wampy plays a little bit less, I don't want to say like less committally, because it's not like a big commitment to like fade back boomerang, but like. If he were to have empty hop boom or just like empty hops back, yeah, he could have punished that uh, whiff grab a, a lot harder. All the all the quad rolls. That's that's neutral. That's neutral. <laughs> that had to be like a like a boomerang misinput with that's that cool. arrow turned the other way. So I'm noticing a lot of situations where Bedex is going for these he's going for these tech chases, but he's just always just mistiming it by yeah. just a bit. And like he's lost so much meaningful damage because of that. Yeah, like that really adds up. Just bomb. <coughs> Up though. Oh, okay, after that trigger. After like kind of a kill throw. Kind of. You know what I mean? Like Not it'll really. kill at, like 160, 170, which isn't like ideal upy. Oh! 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 And it killed. Clean, clean. Wampy got another clip. Wampy, honestly, I guess it's because he plays PM, so he has that, like, I need to combo someone sort of mentality. 
But he definitely gets the most clips per tournament out of like every player in South Florida. A hundred, a hundred percent. He like every every day. He's like, might have lost, but I got three clips. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you already know. You already know. <laughs> All right, so game two. I wouldn't mind a bigger stage like Callus. I also wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind man like a town and city. Just something with like more space, so that he could actually charge his charge shot. Just because like. I mean, I don't know. I personally don't know. First, I personally don't know because I feel like Link is a character that you want to get in on. So I like a smaller stage, but yeah, it's it's hard to evaluate if it's more worth having giving a Link less space so he can't projectile, can't use hard, or if you being a projectile uh, based character as well want the extra space to like maybe be able to contest. Definitely. I feel like if if, if Ben X was more like aggressive Samus using more nares and like spacing spacing yeah, back like, airs. Yeah, like, like crossing up with like falling up air sort of deal. Yeah, then maybe a smaller stage would have been the move. Like pressuring his space, like Wampy's space a little bit more. But here it's like he's not even getting the chance to start his to start his aggression. Yeah, that or landing his own. Uh, first hit of back air. Super strong combo starter from uh, Link. That's how we saw that uh, back air string actually start at the end of last game. But you can also see like landing back air into up B. Is he dead? No, no, bomb jump. Just a tech, but it didn't matter because of how slow he was going. All right, I like that the Z drop Nair gonna get that punish. And right now, Swampy is moving right now. Yeah, he now. really is. Z drop into like super light hit of back air. All right, supporting with these Nairs. But X is having a hard time. He's just he's just trying to find figure out the opportunities to punish Link. So like right there. Yeah, that should have been. He easily could have like run off, double jump, wall jumps, to Nair. You know what I mean? Like he could have like waited for the upbeat to end and tried to punish Wampy after the fact instead of trying to run off Nair. Let's get that landing fair. We're not gonna get it. Ooh, Gets a lock. Go for jab, jab, down tilt. A little slow on the uh, up air input after the fact. It's also for some reason just like I I know why like with the short hop macro, but like. They made it way too hard to like full hop rising. Yeah. Any aerial, you know what I mean? Like, if you're trying to do like the fastest jump aerial that you can, chances are you're just gonna miss him put a short hop on anyway. Definitely. But there, right now, Wampy's okay. with a with a huge lead yeah, right now. Full stock. And a character that doesn't have to commit, like, like Link, that can just like sort of do like super small damage over and over and over and just poke you until you're at kill percent. It's going to be really hard to come back to this. Definitely. All right, getting that Nair. Doesn't get the grab out of that. Oh, good oh, grab. Calls out the spot dodge. I don't even know if he called out the spot dodge, but he definitely covered the spot dodge with that grab attempt. All right. Right now, Bedex is trying to figure out his way to get in, but Wampy's just playing this good defense and yeah, not allowing him to hard. get anything gusarded. Like, especially with the new bomb and the fact that, like, it's, like, an active hitbox as long as it's, like, bouncing. It's just so hard to, like, weave through the space that Link covers. That's it. I'll be. Uh, yeah. Wampy trying to... Ooh. Oh, my God! Back air one. Into, oh. oh, he was turning around. Fast falls yeah. And that will be the set. Yeah, like Wompy we saw. Like, Wompy just getting a lead and just, like, extending hard on it. It's hard to do anything, though. Unless you're a super fast character, getting in on Link is not easy. It's like it's, it's a situation where Link, he has very deceptive frame data. Think moves that you think should be unsafe. Yeah, exactly. Are really not are are really safe. So it's all about you either. It's all about one. You ha you kind of have to use utilize parry in that matchup. Yeah. Nair is going to like landing Nair. Yeah. Like if you don't parry landing Nair, you're not gonna hit him. You're not gonna hit him. And also that you also gotta you have to know your frame data for this matchup specifically because you can know what are your like optimal you, punishes. Right. Because like you said, like you don't have like big windows to punish, so you need to know when you actually do. And then when you do and, and then when you do get a hit, you have to take that hit far. If yeah, you, you knock him off stage, it. you have to edge guard him. Link, even though he has like 
a pretty big hitbox on his up B, it only really covers like a small amount of space. Exactly. And like it's wide, but it's not like a, a super tall hitbox. Yeah, only the sides are really are really covered. The top of him, you can that's a, that's a right, free spike. Right, exactly. So you kind of have to just commit to like jumping over it, or right if you have a, like a good enough double jump and you have a wall jump, especially on that stage, you can commit to going under him. And now I'm thinking about.